Hey guys, Josh of Tech, and I want to show you a video of how to root pretty much anything these days with this new app called Towel Root. Now this will root your Galaxy Note 3, your S5, a lot of your Samsung devices, among other devices. So it's one of those things like if other root methods aren't working for you, try this one out. It's not going to hurt. So I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find this. And it's just really simple. It's towelroot.com. Once you get to the page, you have your donate options here. I do highly recommend donating to these developers. They work their tail off to get this kind of stuff working for you guys and for myself included. So go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, hit this little symbol in the middle. You'll download an APK. Hit OK. If you haven't done this already, go to your settings. Go to security. Scroll down and check unknown sources. You're going to want to make sure that's on. Otherwise, you won't be able to install an APK file. Once that is done, just click it, hit install, and you're going to want to hit accept. Say, I understand, install anyway. Hit open, and make it rain. It says, thank you for using Towelroot. You should have root and no reboot required. If you enjoy this, please donate. Towelroot.com. So at this point, go to your Play Store. Let's download Root Checker. Hit install. Shouldn't take but a second to do it. It's a small app. And verify root. Congratulations, this root has root access. Awesome. The next thing you want to do is download Super SU by Chainfire. And I got the pro version here, so I'm going to download that as well. This is just like by far one of the super easiest ways to ever root a device. It hasn't happened like this in a long time. Like, it's really cool. And hit the binaries, hit normal. This is going into the Super SU app. So once you get past the Nox was successfully disabled, we're going to reboot. Now you're going to get an actual custom unlock little lock thing here that's basically just showing that you're rooted. So it looks like it's working now. I did a reboot and I'm not getting a pop-up and it root checker says I still got root access. So when I go into super user, I'm not getting that binary thing. So maybe I just need a reboot. So in case you run into that problem, just reboot the phone, let it sit for a minute or two and then go back into the super SU and everything should be working fine now. So yeah, I got root access and I'm ready to start getting my like exposed framework back onto my stuff and get this thing looking better and functioning the way a phone should function right yeah <laughs> anyways uh i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give a thumbs up i really appreciate you guys watching i hope that you found that this video was helpful to you if you did please give a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed yet please do so so you can see more videos like this For those of you that cared, the check on Knox. Go ahead and power your device down. And you're going to want to hold volume down, power, and home at the same time. Then hit volume up. And as you can see here, it says zero by zero, and that's your indicator that it has not been tripped. If it's been tripped, you'll see some number off to the side. It won't be zero X zero. To get out of the screen, just hold your power button for quite a few seconds. And you should boot up just fine.